Join me on a journey across time and cultures as we explore the pioneering thinker Canada, his atomistic philosophy, and its profound impact on our understanding of reality. Diving right into the wonders of ancient India around the 6th century BCE, we uncover an intriguing figure named Kannada. Imagine, if you will, being in the mind space of this ancient philosopher who unveiled a revolutionary concept. He sowed the seeds of atomic theory by proposing the existence of Anu, or atoms. This conception was a quantum leap in philosophical thought, as it postulated matter being a combination of atoms and void, a concept that still echoes in the corridors of modern science. Yet, Canada is not only renowned for his atomic theory. He is also hailed for his intellectual rigor and his dedication to systematic methodologies. Canada stands apart in history for his methodical approach to inquiry, incorporating logical reasoning and critical analysis into his exploration of the universe. This introduced a paradigm shift, transforming philosophical musings into scientific hypotheses. The intensity of his approach shaped the essence of what we now recognize as the scientific method. Canada's intellectual odyssey, documented in his key work, the Vaisesika Sutra, embarks us on a journey connecting philosophy with empirical science and bridging the gap between ancient and modern thought. In essence, Canada's life and contributions remind us that the quest for knowledge is a timeless human endeavor, forever pushing the boundaries of what is known. Ancient India, a geographical expanse teeming with diverse philosophies like Vedism, Buddhism, and Jainism, served as a vibrant intellectual hotspot. Amidst this philosophical churning, between 700 BCE to 200 CE, emerged the Upanishads, introducing Brahman and Atman's concepts, feeding into the riveting debates fueled by sages. Notably, we see a tug of war between spiritual mysticism and atheistic realism, as embodied by Karvaka. This divergence delineates the intellectual richness of the time. Pivoting to Canada, a philosopher amid these debates, he brought to light a milestone proposal, atomic theory postulating everything around us to be an amalgamation of Anu, or atoms, and void. Moving to philosophical contributions, Nyaya and Vaisheshika echo in modern logic, acknowledging Nyaya's strain on logic and Vaisheshika's introduction to atomism. Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism, three core pillars of ancient India, profoundly influenced the philosophical landscape, extending to modern logic and wellness. The remnants of these ancient philosophies continue to permeate our world today, reminding us of the ancient roots from which our present sprouts. Canada, a name derived from Sanskrit's kana or Adam, eloquently illustrates his philosophical belief in atomism. His name, a direct nod towards the predominant theme of his praxis, underlines the atomic theory's imprint on his philosophic oeuvre, where he championed for the indestructible atom. Here we see a fascinating interplay between nomenclature and philosophy, which offers an interesting insight into how names are not just labels, but mirrors reflecting one's philosophic identity. Transitioning to broader philosophical naming conventions, we observe an evolution from descriptive nomenclature, as showcased by Canada, to a more abstract form in today's philosophic landscape. This evolutionary trend leads us into an interesting comparison between Eastern and Western traditions of philosophy and their stylistic differences in naming philosophies. While Western philosophies often choose abstract names, Eastern traditions like Canada's lean towards more descriptive labels. Emphasizing this contrast, we gain a nuanced understanding of different philosophical discourses and their nomenclature styles. Names in philosophy aren't mere labels, they carry a legacy a philosophical DNA that encapsulates a thinker's ideology. As we observe in Canada's name, the ripple effect of a philosopher's ideas lives on, immortalized in the philosophical world, thus becoming a testament to their contributions. So a name isn't just a moniker, it's a philosopher's philosophical signature, carrying the weight of groundbreaking ideas, much like an atomic particle holds the potentiality of an entire universe. In the cultural hotbed of ancient India, a young Kannada began his odyssey amidst a vibrant tapestry of philosophies. Encountering Vedism, Buddhism, and Jainism allowed him a rich intellectual experience. Yet, it's the Upanishads and Vedanta philosophy that could have profoundly shaped his thought. Abstract contemplation of the ultimate reality, or Brahman, featured prominently in these texts, 
making them likely influences on Kannada. But unlike many of his contemporaries, he moved beyond spiritual mysticism. His curious mind sought to understand the material world and its fundamental constituents. Encounters with sages or unique events of the time might have acted as winds fueling the creative fires of this budding philosopher. Amid the dynamic philosophical debates, Kanata found his path. He pioneered the concept of atomism, proving even the invisible has substance. His systematic inquiry into reality emerged as a beacon guiding future scientific explorations. Striding on the trail he had meticulously blazed, science has made leaps from atomic particles to quantum mechanics. Collectively, his contributions, his curiosity, his wisdom, and his zeal for knowledge set the foundation for the transformative power of rational thought and scientific inquiry, both in the ancient world and today. The core of Vaisheshika Sutra lies in its concept of padarthas, six categories that Kannada believed described the physical world. Picture the universe ordered employing these categories, substance, quality, activity, generality, particularity, and inherence. Substance, or dravya, essentially speaks of the universe's material components. Quality, or guna, describes the attributes these substances possess, while activity, or karma, documents the actions these substances experience. Generality, or samanya, brings out shared characteristics, and particularity, or vishesha, highlights the unique traits. Lastly, inherence, or samavaya, knits these categories together, explaining the inherent relationships. Together, these categories conjure a structured framework, allowing us a more granular understanding of the universe around us. Now, observe the Vaisheshika Sutra's groundbreaking role in establishing systematic inquiry. By employing logical reasoning and articulating a defined methodology, Kanata fostered the growth of structured knowledge. This remarkable venture not only influenced later philosophical developments, but also sowed the seeds for modern empirical research methodologies. Like the intricate dance of atoms, Kanata's work underscores the rhythm of exploration and expansion, transmitting echoes through the ages, influencing our present conceptualizations of empirical study and scientific pursuit. The crux of Kanata's philosophy hinges on Anu, the Sanskrit term for the atom, in his view, these minute, indestructible matter forms adhere to form the material universe. These atoms, infinitesimally tiny and invisible to the naked eye, blend and coalesce under predetermined laws to craft everything tangible around us. Canada classified the entire cosmos into six categories or padarthas. He accounted for substance, quality, activity, generality, particularity, and inherence, inverting the way we perceive and comprehend reality. Yet his visionary ideas weren't without contention. Some pose that atomism negates Buddhism's anatta principle, where all is transient, thus suggesting a contradiction in the permanence of atoms. Moreover, the very perceptibility of matter posed questions. How could ostensibly invisible atoms culminate in perceptible reality? Despite these challenges, Kanada's atomic theory left an indelible mark on science, even contributing to the elemental theories in Ayurveda, his microscopic worldview propounded a monumental leap, demonstrating that even the tiniest particle can yield profound truths. The enduring imprint of Canada's profound atomism is notably visible in its robust integration within India's Nyaya School of Philosophy and today's thriving educational curricula. Canada's theory embraces the essence of atomism, elaborating a worldview where every physical entity is an amalgamation of minute, indivisible particles. This revolutionary concept seeded the heart of the Nyaya school, giving rise to a refined strain of thought that prioritizes logic and discourse. This philosophical culmination resonates vibrantly in the chambers of modern Indian education, fostering a foundational understanding of ancient wisdom intertwined with contemporary scientific cognition. Modern educational practices uphold Canada's revolutionary atomic theory, illustrating the persisting relevance of this timeless wisdom. Simultaneously, Canada's atomic theory foreshadowed and resonated with modern scientific principles in chemistry and physics. Visionary glimpses into atomism echo through ages, bridging geographical borders. His intellectual ripples were felt in Europe, likely via transmission through the Islamic world, shaping the philosophical enlightenment period's contours. This profound impact extends to medieval and modern scholarly discourse on Canada's work 
reflecting his ingenious intellect's universal acceptance. Even in today's era, Canada's atomism is intelligently nested within our culture, wrought into our education system, adorned in our literature, and echoed in our media, amplifying the essence of atomism that underscores our understanding of the material universe. As we continue to resonate with Canada's teachings, we are embraced by history's collective wisdom, fostering a deeper understanding of concepts that once emerged from the visionary shores of ancient philosophy. East meets West in atomism. Let me introduce you to two great minds, Canada and Democritus, philosophers who charted their unique paths in understanding the universe's building blocks. Canada's Vaisheshika Sutra throws light on a universe made of atoms, Anu, its creation from these indivisible particles and their eventual destruction. Democritus, amazingly, shares the stage with Canada on the idea of atomism. He vividly imagines these indivisible particles absorbed in a tireless dance in the vastness of void, where atomic motion reigns supreme. However, they diverge in depicting the void. Kanada perceives it as non-existence. Democritus acknowledges it as a momentum-filled playground for atoms. Like a prism refracting light into a spectrum, these differing concepts ripple into the philosophical realm. Canada focuses on order and categorization, while Democritus sees randomness and intrinsic motion as the essence of atomism. Despite their distinctions, both philosophies engage the fundamental question, what forms the universe? Is it a play of atoms and void? Reflect on this bridge of thought that traverses space and time, from the Indus Valley to ancient Greece, transcending cultural borders in the quest for understanding the underlying nature of our cosmos. Glimpsing into the symmetry between Canada's atomic theory and quantum mechanics, we uncover a fascinating parallelism. Imagine, the concept of atoms or anu as indivisible units mirrors the quantum conservation of energy. Not just this, but the formulation of multiple atoms that give birth to complex structures strikingly resembles quantum superposition and entanglement. Once confined to ancient scriptures, this influence now molds the realms of modern quantum mechanics. Further weaving this thread, the realm of quantum physics actively mirrors Canada's indomitable spirit of inquiry. Contemporary research oscillates to his timeless rhythm. Ponder for a moment quantum probabilities, the uncertainty looming over particle states. Does it not echo Canada's vision of atomic variability? And consider quantum entanglement. It's the modern sonnet to interconnectedness, but it finds its verses in the age-old wisdom of Canada. Adapting his ancient principles, they serve to guide our navigation in the vast expanse of quantum computing. Hence, we trace an intellectual network back to Canada's philosophical repertoire, showing how his wisdom continues to captivate contemporary minds in the realm of quantum physics. In the vibrant tapestry of ancient Indian philosophies, the atomic theory formulated by Canada emerges as a timeless testament to humankind's perpetual quest for knowledge. Picture the universe, crafted from Anu and Canada's meticulous methodology of inquiry. His pioneering atomic theory bridges ancient wisdom and modern quantum physics, underlining the enduring relevance of relentless inquiry. Remarkably, Canada's contributions eclipse chronological and geographical boundaries since curiosity, the spark lighting the path of progress, retains its timeless allure. Democratized across civilizations and epochs, the quest for understanding drives us on a journey of ceaseless discovery. Canada's legacy illustrates the human condition's intrinsic longing to comprehend the cosmos, beautifully mirroring the interconnected tapestry woven by our collective search for truth. Our ceaseless exploration of the unfamiliar, fueled by curiosity, expands our understanding within an endless kaleidoscope of knowledge. Let us therefore continue the rest of our journey knowing curiosity in the footsteps of remarkable minds such as Canada will perpetually illuminate our path.